It therefore always affords us the rare opportunity to take stock and protect the future of our great act. We have assembled here today from every nook and cranny of our nation to perform critical assignments that will sustain our party for another four years and even beyond. For the first and second times on June 6, 2015 and May 31, 2019, respectively. On each of the two occasions, I presented myself for election and re-election as your national chairman. Today, we are presenting somebody else in accordance with our constitution, who in conjunction with 30 other men and women will pilot the affairs of the party for the next four years. I must confess that the eight years in the saddle as the national chairman came with it numerous challenges. Unfortunately, most of these challenges were deliberately designed by some unscrupulous elements to put spanners in the wheels of progress of our party. Their plots, though they fell flat, were designed to destroy Africa and bring it into extinction. However, the God we serve is bigger than them. He did not allow their devious imaginations to come to fruition. We are here today, contrary to the expectations of the evil plotters, to take decisions that will derive, drive the party for the next four years. What would we have done if God had not shown us mercy? What would we have done if we didn't have great men and women, such as former Governor Willie Obiano and the current Governor, Charles Chukumasolo, the one powerful? whose unremitting spirits and support have contributed greatly to the successes we have achieved so far. What about the redoubtable and irrepressible members of APCA who have stood by us despite the pressures and threats from our detractors for them to recapitulate, to capitulate? In all of these difficulties, our faith has remained stoic and unshakable. We place our hope and trust in our Redeemer who never fails. The time allotted to me may not permit me to list all our challenges. Nevertheless, it is pertinent to state at this juncture that the resorts to subterfuge, cheap blackmail, and tendentious manipulations made the challenges more daunting. We would not have been able to surmount these challenges if not for God's propitious favors and blessings. I'm happy that we, I and my ESCO, are leaving the stage with our shoulders very high. Veni, Vidi, Vici. We came, we saw, we conquered. We have fought the good fight and now await the crown of glory. To build a cohesive, people-oriented political party requires altruism, resilience, and hard work. The modest accomplishments we have recorded were driven by these characteristics. We were not faced by the difficulties we met on the ground when we assumed office. They looked seemingly insurmountable. But thank God that today we have a few monuments to point to as our modest legacies. It's on record that we inherited a wing of a three-bedroom twin duplex at 41B Libreville Crescent, Use 2 Abuja, as the headquarters of the party. By the special grace of God that has been we have been that has been that has been replaced by a magnificent edifice standing and towering over the landscape of Katampe on 4,000 square meters of land. <laughs> the 
which we acquired in 2019. This was in fulfillment of the promise I made when I was sworn in on June 6, 2015, to build and bequeath a befitting office complex owned wholly by the party before the end of our first term in office, and we achieved it. Spurred up by the joy that greeted the acquisition of the Abuja Office Complex, we focused our search on Anambra State, where Apuga was perfect. We felt that a political party of the cloud of Apuga should have a suitable office space in the state capital. We didn't also find it funny that a political party as big as Africa should stay in a rented office directly opposite the seat of government in Oka. Today, we have a five-story building fully owned by Africa here in Oka. The project started in October 2021 is now a reality. The complex which was commissioned yesterday, May 30, 2023, by our hard-working governor, Chukumata Soludo, will serve as offices for the state, region, and national branches of the party. Whatever is left will be rented out to attract revenue to maintain the structure. <laughs> permit, permit me, ladies and gentlemen, to appreciate all those who contributed to the realization of the project. We remember in a special way the former governor of Anambra State, William Piano, who led the foundation. We did something novel to raise the initial money for the project by appealing to our members and friends to donate. Out of their usual generosity and commitment, donations started pouring in. We knew the Garagantua son of money required to bring the project to full completion. Undaunted, we set out. First, we tackled the fence, aware of the marshness of the soil. Having seen, having been done with the rigorous fence project, we opted to face squarely the main project. It is interesting to state at this juncture that the money we raised from free will donations was able to take the project up to the fifth floor. Then, then the next stage was the block work and partitioning and plastering. It was at this stage that the National Working Committee then WC decided to take up what is left and get it completed for posterity. I am glad to announce to this August Assembly that the huge project has now been completed and commissioned. <laughs> Let me assure you that everybody who contributed to the magnificent project will have his or her name engraved on a plaque to be placed in the Hall of Fame soon to be created to serve as a reminder to the next generation the selfless sacrifices made by you to get the project realized in record time. Contrary to the insinuations in some quarters before we assumed office that Africa was an Anambra party, we have won the elections in different parts of the country. It's on record that Africa under our watch won two seats in Bayasa as an assembly in 2015-16 we follow this up by winning the chairmanship slot of, of uh, Guabalada Municipal Area Council and eight out of ten councillors in Guabalada. <laughs> Guabalada is the second largest area council in the FCT. We also won 24 out of 30 seats in the Anambra State House of Assembly, six seats in Imo State House of Assembly, two seats in the House of Assembly in Adia, and one seat in the House of Representatives also in Adia State. It's on record that we also won three House of Representatives seats in Benue State, and one House of Representatives seat in Taraba, all in 2019. In 2023, elections viewed by many as the toughest in the annals of Nigeria because of the untoward impact of the obedient movement across the country, which led to many upsets. However, our great party still recorded an impressive performance. In Anambra State, we won 16 out of 30 seats in the House of Assembly and four seats in the House of Representatives. It has to be stated here that many of our critics wrote off APGA before the polls. 
describing the party as finished. They were stunned by the turn of events. A particular mention must be made here about the tactful approach adopted by Governor Chukwu Soludo before, during, and after the fiercely fought 2023 general election. I <laughs> broke new grounds in two new states. For instance, we want two seats in the Bayelsa State House of Assembly, one House of Assembly and one State House of Representatives seat in Ebony State, and one House of Assembly seat in Adamawa State. We also won one senatorial seat in Abia State. Imagine what would have happened if there was no obedient movement. <laughs> in size and stature in all ramifications since we came on board. The finances arithmetically. We grew the financial resources of the party by applying new strategies which included strict adherence to financial rules, prudent management of resources, and belt tightening measures. It was these measures that resulted in the success story we have today. It is noteworthy to point out here that all we received from our predecessors was a battery sum of 40 million naira. I'm glad to inform this respected audience that apart from the two gigantic edifices built by our administration in Abuja and Loka respectively, we are handing over to the incoming administration over 300 million naira. <laughs> as balances in bank accounts. Fellow party men and women, we have also made up a household name in Nigeria, placing it on the global map as the third largest political party in Nigeria. Our overall target has been to compete favorably with the two leading political parties in the country. Despite the machinations of some disgruntled elements or distractors, we remain focused and steady in the ship as it cruised through the turbulent waters. We are confident that our successors, going by the far-reaching measures we have put in place, will not face the same traumatizing experiences we passed through. We made enormous sacrifices so that the new administration will have a smooth sail. We tried the best we could to create a sustainable and sustained internal democracy in the party, which led to the smooth primaries we organized across the country in 2022. We passed the gains we have recorded so far. It is the vote globally to focus attention on the youth and women that form a sizable percentage of the human population. This, this fact came to the fore at the last general election where the youth and women determined to a large extent who won what. It would amount to a tragedy of epic proportion for any political party in Nigeria to ignore the youth and women in its permutations. For us in Africa, we have seen the writing on the wall and have decided to make her while the sun shines. The choice of the new leadership of our great party was premised on this irrefutable reality. We will continue to reform for the good of our party and for all of us. I congratulate all those elected at various congresses we conducted. I urge you to work hard to promote the ideals and manifesto of the party and leave something for which you will be remembered at the end of your tenure. I thank in a special way our beloved Governor Charles Jubo Masoludo for his many achievements in less than two years in the saddle. Of significant mention is his sagacious and charismatic leadership style. We pray God to imbue him with greater wisdom and knowledge. I thank my team the National Working Committee, and our Secretariat staff, again, for their unwavering support and loyalty. It would have been difficult without them. I thank the judiciary for standing firm in the delivery of justice. We went through over 200 suits and came out unscattered. The same gratitude goes to the election umpire, INEC, for its courage and commitment to the advancement of our electoral process. Finally, 
I thank my family, especially my wife and children, whose ceaseless prayers and love saw me through this difficult voyage. May God bless us all. Thank you. Sustain the applause. That is the sagacious. National Vice Chairman, North Central. Then next, Alaji Aminu Furo, National Vice Chairman, North East. Alaji Yaro Elema, National Vice Chairman, North West. Deputy National Welfare Secretary. Rose Imodu, National Welfare Secretary. Obumba Eme Obumba, Deputy National Auditor. Pastor Ola Ogwala, National Auditor. <laughs> Next is Oke Emeronye, Deputy National Empowerment and Disability Leader. <laughs> Next is Ibrahim Kashimu. Uh, is the National Empowerment and Disability Leader. <laughs> Next is Akia Luera Isa, Deputy National Human Leader. <laughs> Next is Barista Lee Lizzy. Next is Banapas Kenere, Deputy National Youth Leader. Next is Onyebu Chichuku, National Youth Leader. Then the Honorable Amala Anazodo. Deputy National Public Secretary. <laughs> Next is Marcy Ejimofo, National Public Secretary. <laughs> Deputy National Legal Advisor. <laughs> the Next is Barista Victor Agunzi. National Legal Advisor. Deputy National Organizing Secretary. The next is Barista Ifani Bayer, National Organizing Secretary. The next is Anya. Yeah, yeah. 
Ibrahim Mami, National Secretary. Then Ella Alaji Abdulaji Mohamed Bello, the Deputy National Chairman of North. Then we have the Chief Chief Nandemo, Deputy National Chairman of South. Now, we have the National Chairman as Barista's Best
congratulations. That's the certificate of return. A round of applause. Bring down. Ah, you come out your face, uh -huh. it's okay. Distinguished delegates, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, history has just been made. A new dawn is upon us as members of the foremost progressive alliance in Nigeria. We are at the cusp of history with posterity staring us in the face as we open a new chapter of leadership for progressives all over this great country called Nigeria. Let me begin by showing my deepest gratitude to you all for finding me worthy to be elected the fourth substantive national chairman of our great party, AFGA. <laughs> At such a time like this, I appreciate in a very special way the Governor of Anambra State and the National Leader of our Great Party, Professor Charles Chuku Masoludo, CFR, Odenibo, for providing the pedestal which has made today a reality. Indeed, your disposition towards effecting a disruptive change within our polity has heralded the possibility of the emergence of the youngest national chairman of any major political party in Nigeria. You have continued to demonstrate your unwavering faith and belief in the youths of this country by providing key positions for young persons in your administration and for which we are eternally grateful. This address will not be complete without my appreciation of my own boss and father figure, the immediate past national chairman of AFGA, also to Dr. Victor Ikoye, for your consistent support and trust in me. You first gave me the platform to excel and taught me that there can be no limitation in the quest for attainment of excellence. Your massive legacies in Africa can never be wiped out from human memory. I'm glad to have been part of the team which you are the head, which witnessed massive transformation in the fortunes of our great party, especially the acquisition of a financial national secretariat for our great party in Abuja and the Southeast Regional Office of Africa that was commissioned yesterday. And, and ladies and gentlemen, I must pause at this juncture to equally uh, recognize my ever loving and supportive parents, Chief Sylvester S. Ogemwa, the senior, and Lord Emilia S. Ogemwa, they are here, are yet doable by our collective will. It was Theodore Roosevelt who said during his second inaugural address in 1905, that much has been given to us and much will rightfully be expected from us. We have duties to others and duties to ourselves and we can shake neither. Afga is today on the rise to a new level of excellence that will be powered by innovative and disruptive leadership. We are set to take Afga back to its real owners, the people, the peasant farmers, the artisans, petty traders, workers, and high-end professionals, all of whom are desirous of a party that will bring true progress and prosperity to their doorstep. <laughs> to achieve this, we are today launching the project Drive Africa as a strategic and game-changing approach to the political dynamics of the time. The project Drive Africa is anchored on my strong resolve to move Africa from where it is currently to where it should be in the Committee of Political Parties and Politics in Nigeria generally. This shall be anchored on five core principles of discipline, repositioning, inclusiveness, visibility, and lastly, expansion. All these constitute the drive principles that will move Africa to a place of pride under my leadership. We intend to begin the process of entrenching the enduring values espoused by the founding fathers of Africa. This includes the values of discipline, selflessness, and obedience to the rules and constitution of the party. 
The image of Africa shall be held sacrosanct and always protected. We shall commence a process of rebranding the party to meet emerging political and social realities. This will include rebranding, creating new narratives, and raising a more appealing collective consciousness that will open up Africa to fresh ideas. Under my watch, all organs and chapters of the party shall become active parts of the decision-making process. We shall energize the party through creating autonomous and scalable business models that will make the party self-sustaining. AFGA shall be transformed to a very competitive cooperative society that will be beneficial to the lowest prong of its membership. Already, the turn of events in the last few weeks, right from the world, local government up to the state congress and national convention, has shown a new way of doing things. I say to us, this is but a foretaste to the new era of progressivism that is upon us. Afghan, as a political party, believes in the unity of Nigeria. However, the party holds that a constitutionally restructured Nigeria will bring about greater peace, prosperity, and development to the country. This is the message that underpins our drive philosophy. If there is a party of true progressives that will unite all progressives across the country to bring about this better and restructured society, that party is Afghan. I'm committed to making this happen with your support. Part of our innovative approaches for expansion to other states, especially in the Southeast, will include embarking on an intense membership drive aided by the use of modern technology for registration and engagement. We will tailor our messaging to capture the minds of progressive young people interested in joining our alliance, leveraging on the youth consciousness to build a formidable party where young people can realize their potentials. We will transform APGA as a party for the masses, the peasants, the low-income earners, and the deprived in the country with emphasis on providing effective social needs to alleviate their suffering. This shall be the core values of any Afghan government. We shall work to establish a foundation for Afghan. The foundation will serve as a strong support system, promoting party members' well-being, growth, and political success through various initiatives. Let me pause at this juncture to recognize the levels of our heroes past, all those before me who weathered the storm to keep the ship of Afga assail despite all the political tempests. It is upon the foundation of their modest effort that we are taking up today to a new progressive height. To all our members, I say to us, it is time to do all the things we used to know differently. It is time to welcome fresh ideas to change with the changing times, but remain with the underlying principles of our great party. Once again, on behalf of my colleagues in the freshly minted National Working Committee of our great party, I most humbly accept this mandate and thank you all for this opportunity to serve. Together, we shall take Africa to greater heights. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga, Barista, Sylvester, Ezokemwa. To continue with the program, I will once again hand over to the members of our Green Party meeting heads on the 13th May 2023. I approve the continuation of Board of Trustees of Abga and appointment of men and women with of unconscionable integrity into the board of trustee of the party. Where as the following persons, where is there is some? I, Salihu Abubakar Sadiq, the former voting state of the state chairman, hereby move a motion for the national convention to ratify the nomination and appointment 
person into the boat of Trotsky of the Afghan. I saw move. The eyes have it. Somebody must second the motion, please, please. Uh, Carol, whatever. Carol, please. Carol, DK Okora for Esquire, hereby second the motion that moved by Michael McAbee for the resolution, reconstitution, of our new board of trustee members are hereby moved. It's only in Afghan you see this. Ladies and gentlemen, don't you think so? No as we prosper us. You know, this is a handover. The great wife of our great leader, Iyom Yanka of the Ojubu, Chief J.I. Ukechi, Chief Patrick Obiamu, Alahaki Ibrahim Kiafo. <laughs> Barrister Steve Walker. <laughs> Barrister Chairman Anthony. <laughs> Pastor Uzoma. Pastor Uzoma. Glad for her now, Pastor Ojoma. <laughs> Chief Alaji Abubakar Adamu. <laughs> Chief Ujelma Okobuo. <laughs> Chief Paul Odenibo. Barista Carol Ike Okurako. <laughs> Chief Frank Wege Jr. <laughs> Professor Greg Ibe. <laughs> Senator Elinaya Aparibe. Hagia Hakisa Kokori <laughs> These are the leaves. Now we move the next motion which is the audit report. The audit report has been presented to us Professor Ben Odo. And our dear speaker, right honorable Uteno Kafo. Mr. Speaker, sir. I adopt the motion of the audit report. Thereby, yeah, second the motion for the uh, uh, adoption of the uh, uh, motion to move. I still have yeah, a second.
Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my president. Um, Aeon, um, Her Excellency, this is Bianca, the team from INEC, led by the National Commissioner, our own barrister, Festus Okoye, and the, well, the national and the members from the state, uh, from the state office of INEC. Are we happy? Yes. Are we happy? Yes. Thank you very much. Well, this is my very first national convention since you, well, the people of Anambra employed me as the governor through your sponsorship as a political party. I couldn't be governor without you, without the platform of the All Progressive Grand Alliance. Being my very first national convention, I want to use this opportunity to express my deepest gratitude to you for your faith, for your confidence in nominating me and sponsoring me and standing by campaigning all the nooks and crannies of Anambra and the people of Anambra finally decided to hire us in a very resounding way. I think they said that even if you summed up the votes of the second, third and fourth others that came, they wouldn't add up to us. Once more signaling that Anambra is Abdala. And I want to thank you all. Thank you, Apati. Thank you for your hiring. We've listened, we've been, I mean, the, today is a wonderful day that we have demonstrated very peaceful, transparent, very peaceful transfer of power from the outgoing National Working Committee to a new one, sworn in after the future is here. It's a party for the masses. It's a party for the common man. It's a party for Nigerian youth. Because as we said, here we have a new expo, and I will come to that in a moment. Being led by a youth. And I want us to appreciate ourselves as Africa. Africa, the future is here. And Nigeria, here we come. No working committee, eight years of focused hard work. And I don't know if many of you heard what I heard. And I'm yet to hear any other political party in Nigeria where an outgoing uh, expo that have served out eight years in office consistently, not the one removed by force or didn't know that they will leave office, be able to tell us that they're able to leave behind in assets, Abga, you have. It's probably, I don't know the, any other one, that is sitting on its own property with its own title documents, fully furnished, multi-story building there at the heart of Abuja. I don't know again of any other political party that also has built a regional office on a five-story building with its own title document as well for a regional office for the political party. I don't know any other political party that has that. So the hour has come. Yesterday, we had the honor and privilege of commissioning this edifice here in Oka. No other political party that I know has that. And if you think in terms of our assets, the tangible assets, the wealth of Africa, in terms of tangible landed assets, it will be running into some billions when you do the valuation of those. And then, did you hear him also say that 
this outgoing NWC will be handing over in cash over 300 million naira to the incoming one. To note that when they assumed office, they were handed over 25 million. Over 300 million with assets worth a few billions. APGA is getting stronger. We are organically spreading across the entire country as Nigeria's undisputable third force. And no more other political party, and I don't know any other political party that has done that. We are systematically building to last. This is, has been the summary of the message we've been given so far from the addresses read. We've heard of what happened in the past, and we've also heard about the road to the future. I am extremely thrilled. I want to appreciate our major founding fathers, my predecessors, the wife of our first national leader is here. My immediate predecessor, unfortunately, is unable to join us. Chief William Obiano, so uh, unable to join us. We appreciate also the stakeholders of our party, the dogged party members, the elected members of the national and state assemblies, all our members across the country who contested for various offices, win or lose. The important thing is the spirit of Africa, that Africa, the spirit of Africa lives across the length and breadth of the country. We also want to appreciate in very special way, and I have done that a little bit, our immediate past national chairman. I've just been summarizing in a very succinct form. You had him right. When he reeled out the achievements of this great party under his leadership. It's not just that he said so. I am a witness to them. And I can testify that Africa is much, much stronger. Africa is much wealthier. Africa is being built, the foundation to build Africa to last has been firmly etched over the last eight years. Ozonko and your outgoing exco, thank you very much. And as I said yesterday, we are going to engrave your names from the number one to the 31st name committee. Engrave your names on a plaque of marble and have them etched on these two buildings, the national headquarters and the regional headquarters of Africa, so that we will never forget. We will never forget. This is a new, a new message for leadership. As I said yesterday, what you have done is very un-Nigerian. Yes, in comparison to the resources available to several other political parties, ours might be a tiny percentage, but the impact has been monumental. That is what it is about public service. You came to serve Africa and you are living Africa better than you met it. We will never forget. I know chairman of our great party, the youthful, indefatigable, ever faithful, experienced, well, very well educated, defender of Africa. I will say, the man who was born into Africa, he failed to mention when he mentioned his parents, that his father was actually the local government chairman of Africa in Onisha South. So here we have a national chairman who is the son of a former local government chairman of Africa. 
So he has Abda flowing in his blood. And you did hear him. That's fidelity to Abda. We can't get it wrong. Abda is on a sound footing. I want to congratulate you and the new members of the NWC. I also want to congratulate the members of the Board of Trustees that have just been reconstituted. We'll hopefully meet soon and hopefully so more regularly going forward as the major think tank of this party. We have lots of work to do. You have lots of work to do. But we are confident, we are confident that you will deliver. Africa, like I said a moment ago, remains Nigeria's um, undisputed, uh, Nigeria's state force. Many others will come fleeting and, and fizzle. But Africa is firmly rooted. And Africa has a foundation. And Africa is on the march. We are the party founded on pragmatic pro progressivism. There is no other party, and we call ourselves the Grand Alliance of all the progressives. That is the Federalist Party. The party, the first party of all political parties in Nigeria, enshrined in its constitution and manifesto to pursue the pursuit of true federalism in Nigeria. We are federalists. We believe that the future of Nigeria lies in terms of structure in its past. The past in terms of the federalist structure negotiated by the founding fathers of this country in the constitutional conferences of 1953 to 54. That's the future. And that is the future that will take us. And this is the one that Afghan, the first political party to profess that fiscal federalism, where the federal government does not become a constraint to the other constituent units of the state, of the, of the country. We are a party of the common man. We are progressives. We believe in one united and strong and progressive Nigeria, where equity, peace, justice, and fairness reign. And let me use this opportunity to call on all those who left the party for one reason or the other. Our tent is growing larger and that tent is big enough to accommodate you. When you finish your sojourn wherever you are, we'll leave that tent big enough and that tent will still contain you. Because we know that they will go and run and run and run and run. Ultimately, they will discover that there is nowhere like home. Come back to Africa. Africa is that home. It is that movement. It is that movement that is firmly rooted in clear ideology, in clear programs, that has a base. You don't fly in the air and hope to land somewhere. You grow from the ground and you grow up. There are no factions in Africa. There might be no faction of any sort in Africa. Some persons might just go there and just, just want to try their luck or whatever. But they even know that Africa remains one indivisible, united, and very strong political party in Nigeria. We believe in partnerships and networks. We will continue with the Africa laid down policy to partner with the government at the federal level, at the center. That has been Africa policy and we intend to continue with that. In years past, Africa couched this policy. And that was when PDP was in control of the federal government. That policy was so strong that at some point Africa even did not field a presidential candidate because it was decided to support the presidential candidate at the, of the ruling party at the time. Because we are a party that believes in partnerships, that believes in one Nigeria, that believes that through networks and partnerships, we are better together. Nigeria is stronger together. 
we will go on because we want to produce results because we want to get outcomes we don't want to sit by the right side by the fringes protesting we want to partner with those who want to move Nigeria forward because no minute can afford to be wasted we're not going to waste any minute the 220 million 225 million Nigerians cannot wait wait Abga will continue with that policy to partner with the government at the center to help us forge a united country and move Nigeria forward. I say united country. Elections are over and governance has begun in earnest. The time will come when we will make some further statements in this regard. But this is what we believe. We believe that the electoral system Despite all the glitches here and there, imperfections in you know, some places, um, a couple of places here and there. But it is the same elections that people repudiate. That's the same elections that produce these members of the National Assembly. It is the same election that produced the senators and members of the House of As uh, Reps and so on and so forth the same day, the same minute. And nobody I've heard has been able to rise up and say we should repudiate those elections because they were held the same day, the same minute, and so on. But like I said, at some point we will have a chance to do this. So I want to use this opportunity once again to thank INEC for being able to organize such an election. I know how many governors in Nigeria, how many governors that lost their election to be elected to the Senate. How many governors? How many incumbents were unable to even have their, uh, 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 to be able to name their successor? These things were unheard of in our electoral system in years past. It was taken for granted, but it is happening. If I can't comment anywhere else, I will comment about Anambra. In Anambra, the last election was free, fair, transparent, and credible to a very large extent. Of course there were, of course uh, in anything organized by, I mean done by human beings there will be, and in any case, in some of the cases where some people tried also to do some uh, mago mago here, we will be there also to contest those, just like every other party is free, or any candidate is free to contest anything, any outcome that they are not happy with. But generally speaking, Anambra, who had a very peaceful election system. The hour has come. Let us build this country together. Afga is ready. Afga is united. Afga wants to partner with the rest of Nigeria, with the center, and with all like-minded political parties that are progressives in nature that think about the common man, that want a stronger Nigeria, that will become in our own dream, in our own vision, a manifesto of Africa for Nigeria to become one of the top 10 largest economies in the world. All those who believe in this, who believe that you devolve powers to the lower units and strengthen institutions from below, all those who believe that the essence of government is the welfare of the people, especially the welfare of the majority of our people who toil every day trying to make a living, the common man. That is the party called the All Progressives Grand Alliance. And all those who believe in these principles, we are ready to partner with you because together we are stronger together. We are better together. Our hand of fellowship is up to all Nigerians. Join Africa today. Join that moving train. Join that most compact, organized political party. Here in Anambra, I know a few days ago, a state governor, a friend of mine was teasing where we were in Abuja. A 
I was saying this, but he was saying this seriously. That in Anambra, that Africa seems to be the second religion. In Anambra. So Anambra is Africa land. There's no question about it. But we are interested in us moving organically across the country and our hand of fellowship is open to everyone who is interested in building that next Nigeria of our dream. And I want you, as you go to bed every day, you ask yourself, what have I done today to make Africa stronger? What have I done today to make Nigeria prosper? Join us. The trend has begun to move. And welcome and thank you again for coming to Anambra State, the light of the nation. Again, let us make Nigeria great. Apga is the home, the vehicle to take us there. Thank you very much and God bless you. God bless the wow. Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> Chief Focus, 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 Ch